Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our next example of how to solve a rational inequality. Again, the rule is to move everything over to one side and have a zero on the other side, so that two must move to the left. So we end up with x plus two times x minus one minus two less than or equal to zero. And now we need to write that into a single rational expression, so we need to find a common denominator. So we have x plus 2 over x minus 1 minus 2 over, and of course, we're going to have to multiply the denominator, which is a 1, and let me put down the 1 just so it's 2 over 1, and we're going to multiply that times the same denominator as the fraction on the left, x minus 1, of course, we must do the same to the numerator. And now we set that, uh, we have less than or equal to 0 to finish that off. Now we have a common denominator. Let's solve the numerator. So we have x plus 2 minus 2 times x and minus 2 times the negative 1, which is plus 2, all divided over common denominator of x minus 1, less than or equal to 0. Simplifying the numerator, we get minus x plus 4 divided by x minus 1, less than or equal to 0. So there is our inequality in the proper standard format. So now we can solve for the values of x that make that inequality, well, that satisfies that inequality is how we say it. So first, we need to find the critical points. And let's look at the denominator to see what x cannot be. So denominator, what can x not be? And of course, all values for x that make the denominator equal to zero, so notice that we have x minus 1 cannot equal 0, so therefore x cannot equal 1. So there's our first critical point. x equals 1 because x cannot equal 1. Kind of an interesting way of looking at it, but that's the critical point. x cannot equal 1. The next critical point is by setting the numerator equal to 0. So the numerator set the numerator equal to 0 because if the numerator is 0, the whole fraction is equal to 0. So minus x plus 4 equals 0. So minus x equals negative 4, or x equals 4. So there's our second critical point. Now let's place those on the number line. So I have 0, 1, 2. So the number x equals 1, let's draw a circle around it. It cannot include that number. x cannot equal 1 because that makes the denominator 0. And now we have x equals 4. Notice we have a less than or equal to, which means equal to zero is satisfying the solution. So that means we can color in that circle right there. So x equals four will be part of the solution. We have th two critical points, which means there's three regions. Region number one, region number two, and region number three. So we're going to find the signs of each of, of the denominator and the numerator for each of the three regions. So region one. Let's pick a representative point, which is nice. We'll pick x equals 0. And if we let x equals 0, then we have 4 in the numerator, which is a positive number. So that makes the numerator positive. And when x equals 0, that makes the denominator negative. And the question is, is that less than or equal to 0? And the answer is, yes, it is, because positive divided by negative is a negative number, and negative is less than 0. So the answer is yes. That means this. Region number one satisfies inequality. How about region number two? We're going to let x equal a number in between. Let's call it two. x equals two. And when we do, we have negative two plus four is still a positive number. That means the numerator is positive. And the denominator, two minus one, that's also positive, because two minus one is one, that's a positive number. Is that less than or equal to zero? And the answer is no, because the positive number can never be less than zero. That means region number two is not part of the solution. How about region number three? All right, let x equal five. If x equals five, negative five plus four is a negative number. So that means the numerator will be negative. And five minus one, it will be four. That's a positive denominator. And notice, is that less than or equal to zero? Question mark. And the answer is yes because a negative number is less than zero. So that means region number three is also satisfied. So let's darken in the regions that are satisfied. So this region right here, 
and the region over there. Those are the two regions that are satisfied. And let's write that in mathematical form. So we can say that when x is less than 1 and when x is greater than or equal to 4. So those are all the regions that satisfy the inequality. We can also write it like this. So we can go negative infinity all the way to positive 1, but not including negative infinity or 1. And we have um, starting from 4, but since 4 is included, we're going to use a bracket like that because 4 is included all the way to positive infinity, which is not included. So we can also write the solution like this in the mathematical format. And that is how we solve this particular rational inequality.